Hi guys, so this video is going to be another one of my monthly hauls and I pretty much do a haul every month showing you guys some of the bits that I've kind of received throughout the month of September? August. And I've been collecting a few things over the past couple of weeks and I thought I would just show you them in a video because I like to do that. So the first few things are clothing and the first few things are from New Look. The first thing is a midi dress, well on me it's a midi dress, I think on most normal people it would be a kind of normal length dress. It looks like this. So it's just bodycon. I will do a try on. I can't get to the bottom. There we go. I will do a try on of this, but it's just got um, little kind of short sleeves and it's a knitted kind of material and it's such a soft, like knitted material. And I just, I don't know, this just really caught my eye. I thought it would be so cute moving into kind of autumn with a pair of black heeled Chelsea boots. And yeah, I don't know, I just thought it was really nice. Um, and this was $24.99. I'm pretty sure you can use student discount in New Look and I forgot. God damn it. The second thing that I got is absolutely gorgeous, but I have no idea when I'm going to wear it. But I bought this because I was like, I will wear this somewhere because I loved it so much. This is from New Look Petite. I got it in a size 8 and I'm glad that I did because they didn't actually have any, any 6s. And the dress down there is a 6, but this I think actually comes up a little bit small. The 8 fits me perfectly. I'm normally kind of in between sizes. And this again was $24.99. And this is a kind of, is it called a play suit? No, this is a jumpsuit because it's like full length. Um, I can't show you very well, but it kind of crosses over at the top here. It's got long sleeves, it's all slinky, it ties at the waist, and then it just goes down. You guys will see it a lot better in the try-on clips, but this fits me perfectly. Just bear in mind that I am 5'2". It's the perfect length on the sleeves and on the legs, which is very rare. So when I tried it on and it fit me really well, I thought I had to get it. And like, I don't know, maybe I'll wear this to like some sort of like Christmas party or something. I don't know. I just had to get it because I thought it looked amazing. And like with a pair of black heels, this looks so good and I love it. So yeah. The next couple of bits I got are from Wrong Way, and two of these things were actually so screwed up and I forgot to iron them before this video, so what did I do? I cracked out my straighteners and I straightened them before this video. So this first one, I didn't do a very good job by the way, is a play suit and I absolutely love this. It's kind of like off the shoulder like this, so hopefully you can see these straps here are adjustable and then you wear it like this and then it kind of hangs off your shoulders here. And then it just goes down into this white play suit with little leg holes shorts and it's got a zip down the side so you can get it on and off and I absolutely love this I think it is so cute and yeah this is in a size small the next thing I'm guilty of not ironing because I realized that this stuff hadn't been ironed before this video and I was just like I can't go and iron it now it's 11 o'clock at night so this is the second thing that I got it is a gorgeous play suit again and I don't know if you guys remember the blue one that I have I have a navy one which is very similar to this I really really liked the kind of detail of the sleeves here and again it's just off the shoulder and it goes in at the waist and then it's just got these little shorts and then I think yeah on the inside it's got like another little lined bit in here and I think this is in a size small as well then the final thing that I got I absolutely love I think this looks so much more expensive than it is this is a black kind of keyhole top it's got kind of like three cutout bits at the front so it's got one here and then two shorter ones on either side and then it just kind of like goes high neck like a choker I wore this in my testing technique makeup video and then it's all kind of like chiffon and flowy and again this is kind of like double lined so that it's not like super see-through it's got like another layer under there and this was in one size I forgot to mention one other thing that I got a new look these are the shoes that I wore to summer in the city they are just some heels kind of platform sort of wedges um, and I just thought I'd give these a quick mention because oh they have literally hair all over them these were reduced to like 16.99 if they're still on the website I will link them down below they might also have them on ASOS but I just thought I'd give these a mention because they're really cute although uh, I don't really recommend them for like running in or walking around in all day because I did actually get pretty bad blisters but they look cute so I guess that's fine. I just want to mention about the stuff that I'm selling on Depop. I thought I would give you guys little kind of like updates in my monthly hauls. Um, so I'm selling a few makeup bits on Depop. The first thing is the MUA Skin Define Matte Perfect Powder. I'm selling this on my Depop and I've only used this once. It was too dark for me so that's why I'm selling it. I'm also selling the foundation that I used in my testing Asda makeup video. I'm then selling this gorgeous Illumastica lip gloss and this is in the shade Touch. 
I will just open it up for you guys. This is brand new. I've never used it. But the colour is gorgeous. It's like a bright red colour, but I'm not really a fan of like lip gloss. So I thought that I would just give it to a better home. I'm also selling this on my Depop. And then I'm also selling a couple of items of clothing, which I will insert footage of now. So if you guys wanted to go over and check out my Depop, it is just soap does nails the same way it's spelled here. Not like gravy the other. So next, I'm moving on to kind of like beauty bits. The first thing is very, very exciting. I got this on eBay, and it's basically a dupe of the Morphe 35 eye palette. I read somewhere that the Morphe 35 eye palettes are made in the same factory as whatever this comes from, and to be honest. I believe it. Oh dear, that just closed on my finger. Ow. To be honest, I do believe that this could potentially have been made in the Morphe factory because the quality of these eyeshadows is literally the exact same as my other Morphe palette. I don't have the 350, but I have the 35C. It was 9 dollars I will link it down below. And this is what all of the colours look like. There is a variety of mattes and shimmers, but if I just do a few swatches, like of the shimmers and the mattes, you guys will just see how like incredible the quality of this is. So I've swatched three of these shimmer ones here. Uh, hopefully you guys can see this. The quality of these is literally like just gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous. And then if I do a few of the matte ones as well, the matte ones are also super pigmented. So those, those ones here. And yeah, I just think this is a... <laughs> Amazing dupe for the Morphe 350 palette, and you can actually get the Morphe 350 on Beauty Bay, which I will also link down below if you want the real one. But this one is 9.99, and it actually says 350 on it here, just like the Morphe ones do, but it has no branding. I then got the Poundland Good to Glow Highlighting Powder, and I got this because I saw it in there. They didn't have this when I was doing my testing Primark makeup video, and I just thought I would give it a shot. It doesn't really seem like it's going to do much. But I know that Meg from Meg Says was raving about this in her testing Poundland makeup video. So I'm definitely going to give this a go and I will let you guys know how this goes. And then it was very kindly sent the Make Me Shimmer Stick from Saturated Colour. And I've done a few videos where I talk about those pro their products before. Um, and they sent me this Make Me Shimmer Stick, which is a highlighting stick. And you can get this on their website. It's £6. And I'm going to be doing a kind of first impressions face video soon where I'm going to be testing this out. Let me just do a little swatch of it. It now okay so I don't know if you can see this here Hang on, it's not picking up in the light um, but it's basically just like a kind of shimmery highlighting stick so I'm excited to try this one on my face this is probably the most exciting thing in this haul I finally got my hands on the Nikki tutorials Too Faced the power of makeup palette and oh my god have I been excited to get this when I saw that they had this on Debenhams I was just like mine I bought it I got next day delivery because I was so excited to try it and yeah this was 48 pounds but you do get quite a lot for your money so I'll just show you guys what you get I'm not going to talk through it fully because I am going to do like a full kind of video on this um, but the palette itself looks like this when you open it up Oh, it smells so good as well. It literally smells like chocolate. You get nine eyeshadows, two blushes, a bronzer, a highlight. But that is not all you get. Um, oh my god, like this is just gorgeous. But not only do you get that, you also get this other little bag. And inside said bag, you get a full-sized um, ink liner. Wait, that's not what it's called. Sketch marker, sorry. Um, this is a gorgeous looking black liquid liner. It is really, really pigmented, and this looks like it's going to be amazing. So you get a full-size one of those as well. You get a shadow insurance, which is like an eye primer. You get one of their glamour dusts, which is like a glitter that you put on your eyes. And oh my god, this looks gorgeous. I can't tip it up so I'll show you because it will go all over the floor. And then you get a miniature Better Than Sex mascara in purple. Um, so you get actually quite a lot of your money. I know £48 is a lot of money, but I'm a massive fan of Nikki Tutorials, and I couldn't go like and miss out on this palette so I thought I would just treat myself to it. I was then very kindly sent a few bits from Leighton Denny which is a nail polish company and I was sent three of the shades from their autumn winter collection. I think they have, yeah they've got all of these colours in the autumn winter collection. I think there's seven different ones and the ones that I got are, oh my god these are so like autumny and just gorgeous. 
The first one is called Crazy Times, and this is a really, really beautiful kind of like teal colour. But the two that I'm most excited about are this one called Tinsel Town. First off, love the name, reminds me of Christmas. Um, this is what Tinsel Town looks like. I'm going to be doing nail looks using all of these on my Instagram, so if you guys don't follow me on there, then I do do nails. My name is Sophie's Nail, and I do actually do my own nails, if you didn't know. Um, and the final one is called Let Your Hair Down. And oh my god, you guys, like, look at this. It is literally like a molten, kind of coppery orange colour. And I don't, I do not have anything like this in my collection. I cannot wait to try it. I was then also very kindly sent some stuff by Nails Inc, which is amazing. Um, and I'm literally like, it was like Christmas when I opened all this stuff. So this is a miniature little set, and I think this retails for twenty nine pounds. And then it got some really, really, really exciting colours, which are from the Autumn Winter Collection, and these are fourteen pounds each. These are called the Reflectors. The first one, which is definitely the most exciting. Whoops, there's a bit of bubble wrap still stuck to it. This is called Primrose. Street and I can't stop staring at this. Oh my god, it's not coming up on camera. Please come up on camera. Like, this is the most amazing holographic pink colour and it reflects like, it reminds me of a pearl. It reflects kind of like greeny, bluey, gold and it's pink and it's silver and it's, oh my god, it is just gorgeous. This is definitely going to be featured on my Instagram soon. This one is called Old Montague Street. And this is a kind of nude colour and it's got these really tiny little kind of like reflective reflex in it. And then the final one is just a really reflective silver colour. This is called King's Cross Road and I really need a new kind of like foil silver colour and I think this is going to look amazing. Then finally I got some of the Autumn Winter Gel Effect colours and these are all so exciting. They're called the Long Wear All Fired Up, all fired up Nail Varnishes. The first one is Spencer Street and it's a really gorgeous grey colour. The next colour is a really pretty kind of like berry burgundy colour and this is in Noble Street. There is literally the best orange ever. This is Portland Street. This is going to be so good for pumpkins for like Halloween tutorials. And then the final one is a gold which is in Crown Place and this is just a standard gold gel effect nail polish. Then finally again I was like ridiculously spoiled by Longcom. I'm not too sure why Longcom send me stuff because I'm so irrelevant in the YouTube world. Uh, obviously I am so like incredibly grateful. So the first thing is their cushion foundation and I'm so excited about this. Um, mine is actually in the shade 15 Ivory. I did try this earlier and unfortunately it is actually too dark for me, which is absolutely gutting because this is my first ever high-end foundation. Um, but the packaging is just gorgeous. Like I think this is like £30. Um, it's just got the gold lid and then when you open it up, it's got the little like long con puff thing and then you open it sideways and it's got the little cushion Thing, and then I think you've like dip this in here. So if any of you guys have any suggestions of how I can make this work, then let me know because I'm so sad that it's too dark. And then the final thing is one of the cushion blushes in the shade Blush Sotil. This is in Sorbet Grenadine and the packaging for these is just black. And it's basically just like a miniature version. This is so adorable. It's got a tiny little little puff thing. And then the inside looks like this. It's like a sponge. And then it's like a cream blush. And I can't wait to use this because I think Fleur uh, was talking about how good these are. So fingers crossed it will work for me because you guys know how I am with cream products. So that is it for this month's haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down below which products you want me to kind of test out and do like first impressions of and stuff and I will try and get that done for you guys. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!